Hi guys, I'm up super early this morning and I'm headed for my ride. This is my first time in three months and I'm extremely excited about being able to go back to the arena again. Um, I have been given this mask by ST Live for a review and I will be trying it out. It is not recommended to wear any form of facial covering when you are physically exerting yourself. So during exercise itself, uh, the riders do not wear the mask covering or any form of mask covering at all, but we put it uh, typically right under our draw line um, and then we, we put it back up once we are done riding. Now, it's important to understand that we, uh, in the medical uh, setting, do not encourage this sort of wearing of a surgical mask um, because it is first of all contaminating the, the mask when you do that, when you talk, uh, and then when you touch it and you put it back on, uh, you're actually redistributing the uh, viruses in the air. But for the purposes of what the cloth masks are about, uh, you know, for functioning I find that a lot of people, at least when they are exercising, will find this convenient so that the moment they stop exercising, they can put it back up. Um, it is important to understand that you know, even while you are just walking around outdoors, if you know, COVID is spread by asymptomatic transmission, that we do our part to reduce the number of droplets that are being dispersed in the air. So um, my first thoughts on this mask is that it's kind of um, difficult to wear. I'm not sure if it's the sizing, but it appears like there's only one size. Um, so I have difficulty tucking it behind my ears. Um, so I really have to stretch. But then um, the good news is once you get it on, it's actually pretty comfortable. It's not comfortable to talk with it. Um, I've spoken with the N95 and also the surgical mask because it's part of what I do at work. And I would say that um, this is not comfortable at all when you talk. Hi guys, so I'm just done with my early morning ride. And as you can see, it started to pour just right after I was done. And uh, later on, I shall give you guys my thoughts on how this mask fed. Hi guys, so I'm just out of the shower and um, ready to start my work day. But before that, I thought I'd give you guys my thoughts and what I thought of this mask, which I wore during my ride today. So the first thing I noticed when I got back was that I had bits of black fluff on my face and it's from the pilling of this fabric, which I've just washed once. Apart from that, um, what I routinely and myself and the other riders also do that is uh, before and after the ride, we uh, simply pull uh, the mask up to cover our nose and the mouth before we walk the horse back. So um, it wasn't easy to do that at all. And it's kind of dangerous uh, to be fumbling around with something like this uh, when you're on a horse. Now, the other thing, of course, is because it is a relatively snug fit, which is good for protecting the environment around you from your droplets, um, it was kind of hard to breathe, um, even uh, when you are not involved in any uh, heavy physical activity at all. So for me, it was walking my horse back. And of course, my reference would, uh, have, been this, would have been the surgical mask. So um, this is uh, how I, I felt about it. But overall, the uh, fabric is actually really comfortable on skin. It's soft, um, but I couldn't breathe well compared to um, you know, how I usually feel with the surgical mask. Hi again, so um, it's early in the morning, but the great news is it's not as rainy or stormy as it has been the last few days. And I will be trying out this mask um, today. And what I love by just the looks of it is the uh, geometric patterns and you know the color. I love the way it is fitting on my face and it actually feels a lot more comfortable 
uh, than the other mask when I'm talking and it is really because uh, there's a bit more space between um, my nose and my jaw so it actually moves a little bit when I'm talking as opposed to the other mask but um, of course in terms of how well it sits on your face it also translates into how well it's able to protect the air around you from getting contaminated by your droplets so I'm now headed out for a walk with my doggy and let's see how this mask fares Okay, so um, we're back from our walk and um, I would say it was a little bit more humid than expected uh, despite it being quite cool and rainy the last few days. Um, I feel that in terms of breathability, uh, this definitely does not fare as well as the surgical mask which is what I am used to wearing all the time but I use a mask slip to protect the surgical mask so that we can uh, reuse the, the mask as long as it doesn't get wet in social settings not in the medical settings um, in medical settings they are all for one time or one day use only and um, I would say that the uh, elastic is going to be a little bit uncomfortable with prolonged wear as you can see this is what it does to my ear um, I don't find that problem with the surgical mask and uh, individuals with a condition known as dermographism where the skin reacts to pressure will develop rashes around uh, where this uh, elastic is for people with sensitive skin as well it's actually cutting right into your ear um, yeah, so I personally don't find it more comfortable than a surgical mask, but for a cloth mask, I think it offers a little bit more breathability than um, the first black mask uh, because it moves together with your jaw a little bit, so um, it enables some airflow. I think it's important because um, we are always a little bit more concerned about physical exertion and, um, you know, hypoxia so uh, this is a reason why we don't recommend any facial coverings during uh, physical exercise but um, I guess it's it's a very nice design right and um, I do like the geometric pattern except that it also uh, you know had a bit of a, a color run after I washed it so yep hi guys so today I will be reviewing uh, this mask and um, of note is the only one with a two-sided kind of um, design which allows you to switch between designs but uh, I've only washed it once and I realized that because it is a knotted design and I don't recommend knots at all for your skin because this can irritate your skin especially sensitive areas like the flexural area behind your ears and besides as you can see it's not survived washing very well um, I have also observed um, when I was trying to put it back on uh, like this it kind of was difficult for me to shift it uh, I can't imagine wearing this while I'm actually exercising uh, because uh, it's important that it goes up and uh, below your jawline quite easily or seamlessly and I definitely don't recommend um, you know wearing this when you're riding because uh, you need your hands to be as free as possible to control the reins and you fumbling around with something like that is definitely not good for um, you when you're on the horse. Okay, so um, I've decided to do some light gardening, picking up dead leaves and trimming my plants um, because I want to know how the cleaners and gardeners feel like when they're wearing a cloth mask because these, uh, they, they actually are the ones who are doing some level of physical activity and they are mandated to um, you know, have to wear a facial covering. So um, I would say that I couldn't wear this for more than 10 minutes because um, it's just really hard to breathe because of the double layer design as well and so I definitely can't envision putting something in the center to slot in it. Um, that's an idea for individuals who would like um, you know their protection, the droplet protection of a surgical mask which essentially um, contains a melt blown layer to uh, make it waterproof as well as uh, prevent droplets uh, from uh, entering your 
um, nasal and uh, oral mucosa um, so yeah for me it, it was really uncomfortable and um, the other thing is uh, it actually got quite painful behind my ears even after 10 minutes yeah so I very quickly switched to the last mask just to see how it fares compared to the other one when I am gardening. Uh, the first thought that I had was that, oh, okay, the inside lining of this um, appears to be a lot softer and is also a little pocket uh, where you can put in whatever you want to. I'm not so sure if I put in anything in these cloth masks because the material um, they are just not designed uh, to be very breathable at all, even on its own. Um, and what I would say is that this, while having a seamless elastic, seems to be a lot tighter and um, it's actually very painful even for my face, which is quite small. Um, I'm not sure if they have it in other sizes, but let's see how it performs when I'm out in the garden. Okay, so... Um it's 10 minutes of wearing this and I say I feel better than wearing the other one but my ear has been in this position for the entire 10 minutes and it's actually kind of painful and it's kind of pushing it down I I also can't wait to take it off um, I think that uh, in terms of breathability, it is definitely a lot better uh, in terms of the comfort to the skin as well because of the inner lining, the cotton layer, uh, it's a lot smoother than the outside layer. So just some final thoughts. I think it's very important um, to cater to individuals with different face shapes and uh, face sizes. And uh, you know, as you can see, it's not good for your ear to be in this sort of uh, position and it's something that doesn't happen with even the disposable surgical mask. Um, I, I mean of course I get that this is more durable and it can be washed but it's actually really bad for this to be in contact with your skin the whole time and I can't imagine any of my um, sensitive skin or eczema patients wearing this. Some people are more prone to getting ear eczema because it's a delicate area, um, it's a flexural area where um, you know your skin is thinner and if you are having a constant pressure on it, it can definitely aggravate the skin. I right, so just want to show you guys, um, this is a full PPE that I'm in right now. I'm going into my clinic for a uh, procedure with, uh, for a patient that requires me to uh, get uh, within one meter or even less of um, the patient. So uh, this is currently the standard of care. And um, I would say that it is quite hard to breathe in the N95, but you know, I've, I've kind of adapted to it and I can talk in it, but uh, I certainly don't recommend um, having to wear this for hours on end. Uh, so I just want to show you guys what happens when you wear the N95 mask. Um, I've just worn it for 15 minutes and you can see that I already have marks on the sides of my face.